EDU TV with 1 million eyeballs across the globe. Connecting schools, universities, industries, and corporate houses. Namaskar everyone, I'm Shalini Rawat from Olive International School, Doha, Qatar. And to all the viewers of EDU TV, I wish Eid Mubarak. I really appreciate Tanya and Prana for bringing in this platform and over 1.5 million viewers. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing journey. So for him, I always say <laughs> success is not the destination. It's just the journey. And Tanya being the co-founder and I've seen both of them. Uh, they have brought in so much to our students and I'm, I know they are. it's a beautiful platform to share what is going on in the education industry, bringing in the stalwarts of education to this platform. And today we have amongst us, Dr. Murli Krishna. His name is uh, Dr. K.V. Sechi Murli Krishna, but very fondly, fondly we call him Dr. M.K. He is a professor of civil engineering from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Kakinara, Andhra Pradesh. A very hearty welcome to you, Dr. Sir. He is the director ODL and OL programs, JNT UK, having 34 years of teaching experience. He's been the founder principal of UCE and JNT UK, Nasara Opit, and the founder secretary of Environmental Protection Society of Kakinara. He is the former director academics and planning, JNT UK, Kakinara, former director, FUAR, Foreign University and Alumni Relations at Kakinara. He is an expert uh, for technological and environment economic appraisal to high power committee for Swachta, uh, Swach Andhra Corporation and in the government of Andhra Pradesh for three years. He is the member of state experts appraisal committee for Andhra Pradesh, MOEF and CC government of India for a term of two years and total six years. And also he is the member of committee of APP CB, East Godavari District AP, and a scrutinizer of solid waste management ISWN under Swachta Abharat for AP and chairman of Environmental Committee of rupees 300 crore Samal Kot Raja Mudri Canal Road project and rupees 400 widening of Kakinara Raja Mudri ADB Road. Professor MK has developed a first of its green campus with initiatives like open classroom, rain and roof, water harvesting, petro park, technology museum, high dense plant plantation, pharmacy garden, nakshatra vanam, inspiring walls and neutralization tanks for chemical labs. Most of them being the first of its own kind in the country, a very a, a round uh, of good applause for uh, Dr. M.K. for all this good work. He's been a public speaker and a solo author of 25 general and technical books, including his famous book, Air Pollution and Control, and Murliam. He has published more than 120 research papers in national and international general journals and over 2,000 programs given at national and international level by seminars, workshops, and webinars. And he's a recipient of many awards. It's a great pleasure to have him on board today on EDU-TV, Bharat Excellency Award 2002 by FFI New Delhi Service to Society through Dedication in Duty to 2011 by EG District Best Teacher Award 2010 and 12 from JNT UK University, Vocational Excellence Award 2013 from Rotary Club, State Best Teacher Awardee 2015 by Government of AP Andhra Pradesh. So it's it's immense joy as I introduced and read out his profile because the list is very long, Tanya. We will finish the program with the with his profile only. <laughs> and I really congratulate uh, all the viewers of EduTV for being there and sharing his experience and taking the pearls of wisdom from Dr. MK today. So we have with us one of his uh, very uh, favorite students who is settled in Qatar and doing very well uh, in the Oryx. That's a QP company. So over to you, um, Dr. Shri, to hear more about Dr. MK. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. 
गुड इवनिंग ऑडियंस एंड व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास राव रेखपल्ली आई एम स्टूडेंट ऑफ आवर प्रोफेसर एम के सर आई एम वर्किंग इन कतार आई डिड माई पी एच डी अंडर हिज गाइडेंस इज गॉट द पेटेंट फॉर हिज दिस पी एच डी सर आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी यू सर अगेन ऑफ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम हैप्पी टू इंटरेक्ट विथ यू through online platform green greetings to you all and a very good evening to you all uh, thank you very much for your uh, nice words of uh, appreciation and uh, i profusely thank uh, edu tv uh, for this uh, great opportunity wherein i can uh, spread some good things to the society at large uh, coming to introduction um, madam has uh, sufficiently introduced me and and given all the details but if you want me to introduce myself in two lines uh, i studied in telugu medium uh, still i have written about uh, 25 books in english which are followed uh, throughout so this itself can be a great source of motivation for every student studying in any language and uh, i was completely born and brought up in a village background and we were uh, from a very humble background actually i do not want to use the word economically poor uh, i do not want to use that but uh, we were from a lower middle class family but still uh, uh, i have visited about uh, 27 countries and uh, i was a very uh, fearful type of person i used to fear everything i had a lot of stage fear and uh, but i could overcome uh, that and uh, today i could give uh, more than 2500 programs outside my jntu kakinada premises and uh, let me end by saying uh, that uh, my favorite statement is my popular sweeping statement of that reflects universalism and that is i am not a hindu i am not a muslim i am not a christian i am not a buddhist i am not even an indian i am a citizen of the world it's been a global engineer so there is what you are a universal to... passport holder sir you are a <laughs> universal passport holder <laughs> <laughs> excellent sir excellent sir sir uh, yeah uh, fortunately most of your out of 25 books uh, maybe i read uh, around 20 plus <laughs> but in one of the book uh, you refer your as uh, ardent lover of nature as an ardent lover of nature uh, what are the current global challenges uh, and uh, what are the what are its solutions sir so if you google also you will find more or less the same challenges as the global challenges all global challenges are challenges of the society are environment based mostly for example uh even health and well being is a very big challenge loss of forests and biodiversity is another big challenge and uh, depletion of resources is another big challenge all these are related to directly or indirectly to the environmental aspects and the number one global challenge today is however the climate change uh which uh, for which the main villain of life is uh, co2 carbon dioxide uh and uh, because of this global warming is caused and because of so as a part of climate change only this global war- warming also is discussed and uh, because of global warming the temperature rises as temperature rises uh the ice water in ice caps glaciers it melts and uh, there it will lead to floods and as all the ice comes to the sea the mean sea level will increase and after some time there will not be any water in the ice in the ice caps so the rivers will dry up once the rivers will dry up all the major civilizations in the world they are all on river banks and the ground water will not be there and industries and civilizations will not get uh, water for their commercial activities so uh, within a short period the rivers will dry up and uh, it leads to lot of famine and uh, poverty and which leads to uh, wars terrorism lack of human values etc etc 
So for all these challenges, uh, there is only one solution, as rightly said by Tony Blair when he was the Prime Minister of UK. He said there are only three solutions for all the 10 challenges of the world. And one is education. Two is education. Three is education. So education, education and education, it is the only uh, solution to any problem of the world. Education means awareness. For example, this EduTV is doing this program. This is nothing but education. You are bringing a lot of awareness into the public so that they can effectively follow these uh, learnings in the real practice. Knowledge is not information. It is transformation. So only such programs can bring a change in the people and thus only a different world can be created. There is a beautiful poem that says, little drops of water make the mighty ocean, little grains of sand, the pleasant land, little words of kindness only can make our one earth the heaven above. So if we all contribute our might in a small thing like planting tree or sustainable lifestyles, etc., that is the only solution. And for that, the main uh, source for uh, uh, solving this problem program is education through uh, such programs organized by EduTV. Thank you so much, sir. It has been really, it's uh, what you said is very true. It's like a ripple effect. So whether it is uh, education, it will create ripples for years. And if it is, we are, uh, we, we really bring in this knowledge to the new generation. So uh, I would like to understand, uh, Dr. MK, that you have your uh, contributions to the people and uh, students has been extensive. Uh, when it comes to environment, environmental education and uh, bringing it to the daily lives of children. Because I have seen the students um, uh, understanding this at a deeper level. So could you share with us one of the most impactful initiatives, uh, the projects that you have launched uh, uh, to promote environmental sustainability and how do you envision its broader impact in the future? I have seen your pictures. I have seen, read about you over the Google, how you conduct classes and how you encourage students to adopt it as a lifestyle. So I would like to just uh, uh, discuss, or uh, bring it to the light, your best initiative. So I have understood your question as uh, what are the initiatives I have taken uh, to protect and preserve the environment or in the field of environmental education, right? I have uh, four points. One is, as I have already told, each and every person in this world, out of the 750 crore human population, we all should uh, contribute something, maybe very small. Then only uh, our one earth can be uh, protected. The first point is, they are called sustainable lifestyles. I have come out with a small booklet. It is called Mission Life. L-I-F-E, life stands for life for environment. This is actually a mission initiated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. He wants that we all must bring a change in our lifestyle, what is called sustainable lifestyle, so that we can uh, protect the environment. I will give one example. If we, for the, the villain of life is carbon dioxide. Today, the present value of carbon dioxide is 425 ppm. The safe and sustainable value is 350 ppm. Already we have crossed it. I used to teach in my programs that today the value is 390 ppm. So we all need to be very cautious. We should decrease it. That's what I used to teach earlier when it was 390 ppm. And today it has become already 425 ppm. So still we have to do it. One example I will give. Early morning when you go for a jogging, it is a environment friendly activity. If you do it by treadmill, it will consume 2.5 kg of, uh, it will release 2.5 kg of CO2 extra. I hope I'm clear. Instead of using a treadmill, if you jog in the open, then you are reducing the CO2 by nearly 2.5 kg in the environment. So like that, if everybody, we do like that, encourage mass transportation system, use a carpool, 
or things like that when we do uh, then that is the main solution to bring down this uh, co2 uh, into the normal levels and climate change global warming is the main reason a uh, main uh, problem which leads to all other nine problems of the world and the second point i want to tell is uh, with reference to green initiatives every institution as well as industry you should have it should have an open classroom in the middle of trees it costs hardly 1 lakh indian rupees to maximum 3 lakhs but it gives a very big positive impact and you can save a lot of energy also and students also they like it very much employees and the third point is students should be trained on aspects like college c o l l a g e college means art with waste materials so i myself i involved my students uh, and saw that they prepare a name board using uh, uh, waste materials so uh, it is you will find it in the middle of our uh, city kakinada and if there is a we have painted with the radium color when you see it you will find it as i love swachh kakinada and uh, everything is made of waste materials and each letter is filled with some waste we have cleaned our students they cleaned the uh, kakinada beach uh, bay of bengal and using that waste materials they have filled this uh, each letter of i love swachh kakinada and uh, this is called college art using waste materials you can use electrical and electronic waste or uh, like um, uh, television sold mobiles sold uh, uh, ac unit everything you can use it uh, to develop as an art so the third one is uh, the fourth one and the last one is that uh, every one of us we should submit an environmental audit report to ourselves see every year we submit a report mm. audit report to the government this i have uh, earned this much money this much money i used for tax this much money i used for this expenditure this much money for purchasing land so like that we submit a report a only commercial report economical report we submit we should submit an environmental report also to ourselves our own concerns our own atmasachi that last year so many trees were planted by me La, uh, this year so many trees are planted by me last year i did this environmental activity last year this uh, change i made to protect the environment something like that this sort of thing unless and until every student should do it as an individual every institution do, should uh, do it every organization should do it in a simple humble way the moment we start introspection and start developing ourselves then definitely we will never cheat ourselves definitely we will have a very beautiful glorious world uh, to offer to the next generation EDU TV with 1 million eyeballs across the globe connecting schools universities industries and corporate houses